Beginning audio transmission. This is the audio log of Dr. Cool, O5 Council member, as well as Supreme Commander of Mobile Task Force Alpha 1, also known as the Red Right Hand. Hello everyone. Now, I know what you all are asking, Dr. Cool, why are you wearing that ridiculous Santa hat during this video briefing? Well, Unfortunately, I lost a bet with Dr. Bright, and so now, I have to wear this damn itchy thing for this SCP reading. So unfortunately, that is the case. But then again, if it proves morale here in the Foundation, then of course, I cannot argue. However, just like alcohol, during the Christmas season, this SCP also believes that that intoxicating beverage is something that should also brighten the spirits of people. Too bad it has some harmful side effects, if consumed. Now, I did an SCP reading on this SCP back in 2014, but now with the new style of my videos and it being the holiday seasons, I figured, why not update my old reading? So, let us look at this SCP for this holiday season, shall we? Item number SCP-1933. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1933 is to be kept in a standard low security cell, equipped with basic furnishings. It is to be provided with 2 liters of Irish whiskey, 500 milliliters of double cream, no less than 48% content fat, 25 grams of powdered sugar, and 20 milliliters of refined vegetable oil on a daily basis. As SCP-1933 is unwilling to engage in basic hygiene, it is to be forcibly stripped and showered by level 3 personnel on a weekly basis, and its beard shaved and nails clipped on a monthly basis. Its soiled clothing is to be considered highly flammable, and is to be incinerated as a fire hazard. Description: SCP-1933 is an obese, middle-aged Caucasian male in a constant state of moderate to severe alcohol intoxication. SCP-1933's bodily fluids, including both intracellular and extracellular fluids, consist entirely of a substance identical in composition to the alcoholic beverage known as Irish cream. This substance adequately fulfills the functions of the fluids it replaces in SCP-1933's tissues, despite the fact that it renders normal biochemical processes essential to life impossible. Foundation scientists have been unable to determine how it manages this. SCP-1933 consists on a diet of cream, Irish whiskey, sugar, and refined vegetable oil. The basic ingredients of most commercially produced varieties of Irish cream. It prefers to supplement its diet with small amounts of various herbs and flavorings, usually coffee. But these are not essential to its survival. It is incapable of digesting anything that is not a standard ingredient of Irish cream, including Irish cream which has been prepared beforehand. SCP-1933 will display effects consistent with acute malnutrition if its blood alcohol content significantly falls below or exceeds the range of 15-20%, to 20%, the typical ABV of Irish cream. SCP-1933's bodily fluids are safe for human consumption if intake is limited to 25 milliliters or less within 24 hours. If a subject exceeds this limit, there is a significant risk that all their bodily fluids will be transformed into Irish cream. The substance does not fulfill the functions of the fluids it replaces, as it does in SCP-1933. As such, it is instantly fatal. The probability that a subject's bodily fluids will be transformed into Irish cream increases by approximately 5% for each additional milliliter of SCP-1933's bodily fluids consumed. It is not known if the bodily fluids of SCP-1933's victims would have the same anomalous effects as SCP-1933's bodily fluids if they were to be consumed. Prior to containment, SCP-1933 was chronically homeless, sleeping either on the street or in a derelict buildings, wearing a Santa Claus suit at all times, stealing money with which to purchase the specific items of food and drink necessary for its survival. 
and collecting its bodily fluids in bottles. It would attempt to break into people's homes between 2300 hours, December 24th, Christmas Eve, and 0500 hours, December 25th, Christmas Day, and place crudely wrapped bottles of its bodily fluids alongside other wrapped presents, with the intention that they would later be unwrapped and sequentially consumed. SCP-1933 claims that this activity was motivated by a benevolent desire to give people presents, and refuses to acknowledge that its bodily fluids are fatal if consumed in large quantities. It has not been determined whether it is genuinely unaware and unwilling to accept that this is the case, or whether it is trying to conceal malice intentions. However, the general consensus among Foundation staff who have studied SCP-1933 is that the former is most likely. Alright, well, that is our first audio reading for the month of December. A nice little festive one, I thought, to get us all into the Christmas spirit. Unfortunately, I read a bunch of Christmas SCPs two years ago. However, we are sticking to some interesting SCPs that I think you all will still enjoy, Christmas-related or not. Personally, I can't stand working with this SCP. I don't really like alcohol, and I especially don't like drunken idiots. That is why I am a classic man, and I like non-alcoholic eggnog as my Yuletime drink of the year. Ugh, that is, of course, if I can drink it. In the meantime, if you like our videos and want to see more, then click that like button down there as well as subscription button, and don't forget to hit that annoying useless bell icon also so you can get to notifications of our videos. Want to help out the foundation and our channel continue to grow? Then please go to our Patreon page down below or at the end of this video and support us there if you would like. All SCP loyalists are well rewarded. But like I said, if that is all the time I have for today, thank you very much if you have watched this video all the way through. This is Dr. Cool, 05 Command, signing out. It is my great privilege that I wish to thank our top Patreon supporters, as well as the average Patreon supporter out there who wishes to help the Foundation and our channel. We greatly appreciate it, and their names are here for all to see. If you would like to become a supporter of the SCP Foundation or our Patreon channel, then click the link provided here and donate today. All donations are well rewarded. In the meantime, check out many of these other popular SCP videos of mine, and tell me what you think in the comment sections below on this or other videos. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Dr. Cool, signing out. <laughs>